In this video, I want to show you uh, some of the simple charts, yet powerful, that you can use to visualize actual values against the target, or simply uh, measure the progress of actual performance towards the target. And to help me do that, what I've done, I've created this sample data here, is some dummy data, whereby you can see we have uh, different months uh, in the year 2021 and we have some dummy values called uh, actual values that is actual cells and the target cells. So we're going to see some of the simple charts that you can use when you want to measure the progress of actual performance towards the target and as you can see I've already connected this data uh, on Tableau so you can see here we have the dimension month and the actual cells and target cells. So let's see uh, how we can use this particular data. And the first view that I'll create is the bullet chart, which for me is the best chart that you can use to visualize actual metrics against the target. So to do that, let me drag uh, month to the columns. Let me change this one to uh, month. And I'm going to drag actual cells and target cells to the rows. And to create this chart is very simple. Just come to the show me tab and select bullet graphs. And automatically Tableau will create this view, which is a bullet chart. And you can see when you hover here that the reference or rather this dash, which is a reference line, uh, represents the target. So you can be able to see, for example, on the month of August, the bar is the actual performance, and this is the target. Something else that you can see on the background, you can see some other demarcations of the background. Uh, the first one at the top is the 80% mark of the target cells, and the second one is the 60% mark of the uh, target. So, so, for example, you can see for this, uh, for example, for the month of August, uh, you can be able to see the actual performance is slightly, is not yet on target, but is slightly above 80% mark of the, uh, of the target. So it's one of the great charts I feel that uh, you can always, or rather my go-to chart that I use anytime I'm visualizing uh, such data. And the good thing about this chart, it gives you that uh, flexibility of adding more information to your view. For example, you can do what we call like month to date targets, which you can always be able to add them uh, as reference lines by simply coming to the axis and you can be able to add more reference lines uh, to view. So this is one of the simplest chart that you can use to uh, visualize or rather to measure the progress towards the target. Another chart that you can use is the bar in bar chart. And to do that, let me drag month to the rows and change this one to month. And I'm going to drag actual cells to the columns and target to the columns. Let me make this one a dual axis. And of course, I'm going to synchronize the axis, so I've just right clicked on the axis, select synchronize axis, simply to make the axis equal. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change these uh, marks to be bar. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to come under all and select bar. And now what I'm going to do is simply play around with the size of these particular bars. I'm going to make one of the bar uh, thicker and the other one uh, thinner. So let's for this case, let's make the bar on target cells thicker. So I'm just going to select the target and under size, I'm going to increase the, the size of that particular bar. And for the case of actual, let me just reduce the size of this particular bar. Uh, I can see the actual cells is at the back. So let me just swap this one to bring it to the front. And now you can see it's on the front. Let me hide this uh, axis. And now, as you can see, this is what we call a bar in bar chart, whereby you can see one of the bar is inside the other bar. And basically using this chart, you can be able to see or rather measure how or rather the progress of actual performance towards the target, where in this case, 
the blue bar is the actual performance and the orange one is the target and you can be able to tell at a glance uh, where uh, or rather which month uh, the performance has uh, met the target. For example, you can see January, the blue bar is longer than the, the orange one and so forth, so forth. So basically that's how you can use this particular uh, chart to visualize actual versus target values. Another chart that you can use is the lollipop chart. And to do that, let me just drag month to the rows and I'm going to change it to month and add actual values and target values to the view. Again, make it dual axis and synchronize this axis. And now what I'll do, I simply I make one of the bar or rather one of these measures, I'm going to make one of it a bar chart and the other one a circle. So I can make the actual metrics uh, to be a bar and the target one, I'm going to make them circle. Let me minimize the size of this bar, make them a little bit thinner. And the target, you can try to make the circles a little bit larger if you want. And basically now what we have is a chart which um, kind of looks like the lollipop chart. It's only that in this case, we don't have those circles at the end of the bus. But with this chart, you can be able to measure and see uh, the progress of actual performance towards the target. For example, you can see uh, which areas uh, the actual performance has exceeded the target. Anywhere whereby the circle is on top of the bar, in that case, uh, the target, not the target, but the actual performance has exceeded uh, the target, as you can see here. And these other cases, uh, the performance is not yet uh, on target. Another chart, simple chart that you can use uh, is the line chart. So let me drag month to the columns and change it to, of course, a month to show the different months and add actual performance or other actual sales and target sales to the rows. Make it dual axis. And what you're going to have, this is a, this is a, a line chart that you can also be able to use to compare the actual performance against the target. And you can also be able to play around with this particular chart. You can change it, or rather you can be able to change one of the charts to, to an area chart, a bar chart, and still be able to, to compare these two metrics. For example, let's change the actual sales chart to an area chart, which looks this way. And uh, it's something that you can also be able to use to compare. I can also change it to a different max card, for example, uh, bar, which still will be able to uh, compare these two metrics together. So basically, those are some of the simple charts, yet they're very helpful or powerful when it comes to comparing uh, two metrics. And in most cases, the actual values against the targets. So thanks, everyone.